This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here again on Facebook and YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about cleaning boxes. We've all got boxes in this condition that have uh, been used for honey from the last season. So we're going to clean this up today, I'm going to show you how I clean it up. And more importantly, what we do with all the rubbish that we collect off it. Because most of this that's on here is propolis. And I harvest all my propolis. All my beehives have a propolis mat on them, like these, or like this. Two different types of propolis, and the bees fill them up like this with uh, propolis, we can send that away, get that extracted, and that's worth a lot of money. Just as a little example, last year I sent away 2 kgs of raw propolis, and uh, they paid that out at uh, 0.8 of a kilo uh, of harvested propolis at $325, so I ended up uh, per kilo. So I ended up getting $300 for my 2 kgs of propolis last year. That paid for all my varroa treatments and uh, several other little bits and pieces. So today I'm going to show you how I go about it and um, some of the tools we use. One of the things, the first thing you need to do is I have a piece of flat iron on the bench and that's so I can clean it, scrape it down nice and easily. I have an ice cream container for clicked in the old bits of propolis, a hive, trusty hive tool, a wide scraper so I can clean the bench. This paint scraper, we'll show you how to use it shortly. This one is uh, designed for cleaning uh, uh, paint rollers, so you can scrape it on the paint roller. Look over there. Just uh, telling Chen, my photographer, this year has been a great year for praying mantis. So we'll just zoom around over there. And inside the workshop, I've got a lady praying mantis coming to visit us. So we're with nature all the time. And I use two tungsten scrapers, a flat one and a little square one. I'll show you how they use so the first thing that I do is I've got to scrape all the tops of the bars down. So I just put my finger on the top so I can actually collect that as I go. And it's little bits like this off the top of each rail. Now as I said, some of this will actually have honey in it. But that doesn't matter because when it gets to the factory, in my case, I send mine to... Uh, Manuka, New Zealand. I've signed a contract with them that all my propolis will go to them. And in return, they supply me with two propolis mats for each hive that I have. They will pay the transport to TR Mutu. Um, where, they, where their factory is. So this is, on the ends here, is the really good propolis. Um, and I like to make sure that I collect all those bits. So with this scraper, I come in, put my finger on it so it doesn't pop away. And then I do the same at the other end. that stage all the tops are now done. So using the high fill to make sure that all the frames are loosened off. I 
we'll shift the box over onto the bench, just over here, out of the way. And as you can see from the scraping up, scraping the tops, I'll now end up with all this bits of propolis. Dead bees. And I regularly pick all that up so you see the use for the hive tool, uh, for the flat scraper. And now on here, there's propolis in amongst this burr cone, propolis down here, underneath the shoulders, on the ends, on the bar down here. And so this is how we go about cleaning this off. This is quite brittle, so you need to make sure that it doesn't go flying around the place. So I just get in there and I use it as a lever to pull that off. Lever against the floor, pop that off. This here, as I say, mostly wax. This tool will do quite a bit of the job, but it can't get up under the shoulders here. Look how much came off there. It's quite amazing. Now, that frame is ready to go back in the hive again. So before I do each frame, I have a little clean up. That way I don't end up with too much of it over the floor. An ice cream container, when this is full, is worth around about $100. So the second frame, same as the first. We're not going to go through and show you every frame because that's a bit boring. So I have a spare box down there where I transfer all these frames down into the other box. Okay, that's uh, frame number 10. We clean up the rest that's, that we got off these frames. This box was reasonably clean. Some of them are a lot worse. The main reason for cleaning the frames is so that you can then get all the frames to squeeze back together properly to, to restore the B space integrity. I use 33 millimeter wide frames. This will allow them all to come back to 33 millimeters. So the last thing we've got to do is the box. And we've got Propolis all around here on the shoulder, on the rebates and whatever. So I start mine from upside down using the tung tungsten scraper. And I try and scrape it all into the middle of the box so most of it all falls down inside. Then I use this flat fella. You see how the shoulders here have been stuck onto the side? Well, I've stuck all that down with propolis. It's all dollars. The 
did you note, I did not touch the rebate when I done that side. We will do those rebates as a special operation. So green anymore. Right out. Then we, you pick up all sorts of rubbish on the hive boxes as you use them during the year, grass, sticks. First gets rid of all that, all the dead bees that you've squashed. And the last thing we've got to do now is the top and the rebates. All the edges done, top edge done, and now we're going to clean out in here. And you can see that there are some quite large lumps of propolis in here, and this is all very, very hard. The only thing that you can get them off with is a tungsten scraper. The other end. And now this is where I use my little corner malt scraper. It fits in there. And you see this? This is all propolis. Same at the other end. Sorry about the squeaks. Hard on the ears. Put a bang, knock everything off. And the final clean up. You can see by the colour of this how red it is. That there is just about pure propolis. Now out of that one box, we've got that much product. Multiply that by however many boxes you've got. In my case, about 80 or 90 boxes. Uh, that makes for a fair bit of propolis. Now I'm not quite sure whether I explained it so much with these. I have a contract with Manuka Health, New Zealand, and they supply me with two of these mats, which I've cut a hole in for what I do with my beekeeping, so that's fine, these are mine now. Uh, they supply me with two of these for every hive that I've got. When it's full, I then swap them over with a new one, and I send the full ones to Manuka Health. They water blast them, clean them up, extract all the propolis out, uh, send my my frames back, no one else's, and then uh, deposit the money in my bank account. You have to fill out a harvest declaration as well. So, we'll just show you now, put all these frames back in here. another frame space available so I can now position these in the middle of the hive the frames themselves are loose fitting in the box so that we can work them again easy this now is in pristine condition ready to go back on the hive and when they're in this state 
with all drawn comb, the bees can either, queen can either lay in it straight away or they can put the honey in it straight away. It's a very, very valuable resource having clean drawn comb. So that's it from Trev's Bees, cleaning boxes, harvesting propolis. We'll see you around in the beehive.